On November 29, 2018, self-proclaimed Libertarian and Second Amendment supporter Caitlin Bennett visited the University of Akron campus. Bennett's rise to prominence came in May 2018, after she posted graduation photos with an AR-10 rifle on the campus of Kent State University. Bennett uses her social media as a platform to discuss her views as well as creating videos for Liberty Hangout, a Libertarian digital media outlet. What's up guys, I'm Caitlin Bennett, the Kent State Gun Girl, and today I'm going undercover at Kent State to see what students think about Caitlin Bennett. Caitlin came to Bierce Library to ask students about their opinions on immigration. Yeah, so we just came to get opinions from people, um, but as you can see, it's turned into something completely different. <laughs> so do you like doing interviews with um, university students like this and going around campuses? Why do you like doing uh, like content like that? So I love being on campus. I love knowing what students are thinking because we are the generation that's going to grow up and we're going to eventually hold offices. So I love to get people's political opinions about those things, and uh, mostly because we see all the craziness that's going on on campuses, especially in regards to like Trump derangement syndrome. There's a lot of people that have a lot of strong feelings about Trump, Obama, politics in general, and this is the best place to come to get that, that content. Great, and um, why are politics so important to you personally? I think it's fun. I love politics. I don't look at it as something that's draining. I don't look at it as something that's, um, you know, just a bore. I think it's fun. I think it's interesting. I love to pick, pick people's minds about what's going on. But most importantly, because I'm a citizen here and politics are important because I want to know what people are thinking. I want to know what kind of people are going to run the country one day because I live here and that affects my life. We asked Caitlin if it was difficult to talk to students who wanted to confront her instead of engaging in a political discussion. Coming to campuses, it is frustrating that students my age won't engage in that conversation with me. They just want to scream and yell and you know, scream at the sky, but I mean, I don't usually go to campuses that often because of who I am and people recognize me, but um, when I do come, this is usually what happens. People gather around, um, they film me, they make videos, they tell me I'm stupid, so, you know, but I guess it's fun. I guess it gives enough content for a video, so thanks everyone. <laughs> um, is that is that why you keep doing it? Like, if you get sometimes, like, even if people do support you or even if you do get hate, like what keeps you going and like what keeps your message going? Um, even if I get hate, I mean, that's not going to stop me. My message is campus carry. I support every single person that berates me or cusses at me or tells me I'm stupid or to leave campus. I support their right to self-defense and I want them to understand that. Will they? Probably not because their emotions get in the way of it, but every student that stands here and films me or looks at me or wants to do something, I support their right to self-defense and it's so important that they understand that. We asked students who were interviewed by Caitlin what the experience was like. I don't know. I just think that she went out of her way to make me feel dumb. And it was like, okay, obviously it's a topic that not everyone like understands. And I feel like she could be going about it a different way with like truly educating people. But I really do think that there's a lot of factors that need to go in other than just asking people about stuff that she knows they might not be able to answer so that she can like throw facts. Like, don't stare at me. I don't like that. <laughs> Our efforts to interview students quickly diminished as more people gathered outside. Emotions ran high as a group began to form around Caitlin, turning her interviews into arguments with the crowd. Who, who, what happened, people are shooting those guns? Gun -free zone. What people are shooting those guns? Criminals. You tell them what you actually came here for today. Then, I actually came here thinks. to do a video about immigration and people's opinions about tear gas being used at the border. But people like you, who are so emotional, you can't you can't come at me with a respectful conversation. If it's people see you anything. and see issues with, are you listening? Or are you too focused on everyone loving your loving your spot yeah, right here? The night ended unresolved. With tensions high, the sunset and the crowd slowly started to dissolve. They won't even let me talk. They won't even let me talk. They're so deranged. What? Bennett turned to social media to film the ending responses, starting a live video to broadcast the event. Students also took to social media to voice their opinions about the day. Caitlin, I actually have a serious question. I'm a big supporter. I'm a big supporter, actually. Can you go back to Kent, please? No one wants you here. <laughs> Sorry. The video already has 4.7 million views only two days after it was posted. In response to this, Caitlin tweeted that she plans to hold her next open carry walk on Akron's campus next spring. There has been no university response as of today. Peyton Burkhammer, Lights Camera Akron.